biohacker health coach Joe Baines. And I want to tell you about my uh, first UPW, right? I, I just finished MMI and which had blown my world apart completely. And I was like, wow, MMI, which cost me 200 euros, um, just blew my world apart. And I was like, wow, if MMI could do that to me, what about this? I kept hearing about this Tony Robbins guy, which I knew nothing about. So I Googled him at that time in 2014. And I was like, and I was, and 50% of the comments I was reading, the reviews about him said, he's, a, he's Satan, he's the devil. The other 50%, he's the Messiah, you know, he, he's God, he's the Messiah, he's the, he's the guru, right? And they were literally like this, it was like Marmai, you know, you either love him or you hate him, there was nothing in between. And I was like, and I spent like a whole day Googling him, trying to figure out if I should go on this seminar. Is he a con? Is he whatever he is, right? And in the end, I like it was literally 50 50. 50% 50 devil, 50% the Messiah. And I thought, what the hell? Bite the bullet. My intuition said, go. So what I did was I booked the seminar in, um, in New York um, and um, I bought the, the, the most expensive ticket I could get my hands on, I think, which was um, Solitaire Diamond or something like that, right? It was like three and a half thousand dollars. So I paid three and a half thousand dollars, booked my flight to New York, booked Airbnb and everything like that. And it was mind blowing. It was winter. And so, because there's a ton of snow outside, there was 5,000 people um at his seminar and but, but six thousand people had booked so what they did was they put a tent outside as well a massive tent for the other thousand people but i was in the in the room because i was solitaire and i'm telling you it blew my world apart i could not believe like mmi is awesome t hub hacker done a fantastic job right not knocking it it changed my life it's the best thing in the world Perfect. If you have never done a seminar, do MMI. It'll, it'll blow your world apart. Just put the work in, all right? Just don't be going there to have a cup of tea, all right? <laughs> because that's all you're going to come back with is a cup of tea, all right? But UPW, oh my God. It was, if UPW is uh, like a rock concert. It's like going to a rock concert um, with personal development. And this Tony Robbins, at that time, he was extremely healthy. And uh, so he had loads of energy. So in 2015, I think it was February or March, I was there. He was full on. And I was sitting right at the front, and I, was, and I got the hit of the blast, you know. And uh, I remember the first, because I didn't really look into it too much, or maybe they didn't have that much information on it. Um, I just booked it, and I went. And on the first day, he starts towards the evening, he starts talking about the firewall, right? And I'm like, what's he talking about? I'm, I've never done a firewalk. And to me, firewalk is something, you know, that is mystical or whatever, right? I'm not interested because I can't do them. And he kept talking about them. And he goes, I'm, I'm getting you ready. We're going to go outside. We're going to do a firewalk. Uh, everybody's going to walk on uh, hot coals. And I'm like, yeah, right. Of course we are bullshit but the energy was in the room was amazing so i was loving the energy so i was like just going full out in the energy um and he kept talking about it right i'm building the energy up how to walk across the coals of fire everything he was doing all this stuff and i was like yeah yeah he's just he's gonna at the end go yeah yeah it's a joke and uh and it's not gonna happen obviously and then we started piling up to go outside and i'm like He's joking. There's no way we're doing a firewall. There's no way I'm walking or any of this us here are walking on red hot coals and bare feet. It's not happening, right? It's just not happening. Anyway, we get outside, drums are pumping and he's shouting and the screaming going on. And there is red hot coals. And I'm like, is this really going to happen? Oh, dear. 
And then I was like, oh, shit. And then so as, it, as it started dawning on me that this is actually real, we are going to be walking. And I was like, okay, step up, step up. Yes, 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 yes. I was like, geez, I've got to get myself in state, right? Anyway, so we walked across these coals. It was insane. The results were insane. Like, I was like jumping up and down, screaming. It was just, it's just off the charts. It's probably the best way to put it. And uh, we went home at midnight, of one, two, I don't know what time it was. It was like crazy time. Anyway, um, the next day, I'm like buzzing from this. And he goes, yeah, we just set the base level there. We've just created the base level. Today, we're going to take it up a level. I'm like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Yesterday was off the charts. How is he going to top yesterday? You, because I thought what happened yesterday on day one, it wasn't possible to create that kind of day. He created it. And then I thought that was the top. And the next day he's talking about taking a level above that. And I'm like, but we're already at the top. How are you going to take it a level above? You can't, right? Anyway, he does take it a level above. I was like, man, this is the best day. This is, got a, this is the most. He somehow topped it. I don't know how he did it. I still don't. He somehow topped that day. And again, we finished at midnight, one, I don't know, whatever, two, whatever time. Fuck the sleep, right? Anyway, so day three, and he's like, right, yesterday we were just, you know, building it up, getting the momentum up. Today we're going to top that. I'm like, what the hell is this guy talking about? How is he going to top yesterday? Yesterday was off the charts, off the charts. The, the yesterday was above the best, right? Yet the day, first day was the best. And the second day was the better than the best. And the third day can't be better than the... He can't keep doing this. It's not going to work, right? Anyway, third day, he takes it a couple of levels above. And I'm like, I'm like I remember being in there, surrounded by 5,000 people in this building. And it's nuts. Like, it's literally, absolutely... The only way to describe it with my current experiences, it was the equivalent of spiking everybody's drink with acid. So it's like every single person, all the 5,000 people in that building, they were all tripping on LSD. They were all high on acid. That is the, that's the closest I have taken a lot of acid in the past. Uh, and that's the closest it comes to, do you know, like that experience. So anyway, he tops it. Fourth day, again, goes up another level. It's just, it was mind-blowing. I was like, whoa, this is mental. And I was so buzzing by the end of the four days that for six months after I came back from my first UPW, I was still buzzing, right? I was like a Duras of battery for the next six months, doing hundred things at a time. The only thing that interrupted it was that within about six months of coming back from UPW, I ended up in hospital, you know, A and E, the good stuff, right? Um, and that's the only thing and that's the only thing I think that stopped me. Otherwise I could would have just carried on being on Duracell batteries. So that was my UPW. And I've and now I've done five UPWs. Two of them as a participant and three of them as crew and crew is amazing like i've just come back from upw in birmingham 2023 mind-blowing absolutely mind-blowing like the, the only problem with it is that as i remember it from 2015 he was on stage most of the time but in the 2023 he was on stage only maybe a day and a half because, you know, his health is suffering and his voice and all that kind of stuff. So, which is quite sad because uh, I don't want to lose Tony Robbins uh, because there and nobody's going to replace that guy. Just saying. So if you get a chance to go to UPW, take it with both hands because this guy ain't going to be around that much longer. So you want to make the most 
of this this person's uh, this um, Tony Robbins uh, potential, this Tony Robbins ability to change your state to affect you. He it's it. What he does is brainwashing. Yes, I agree. It's a cult. Yes, I agree. But it's positive brainwashing, and it's a positive cult. And if you're going to belong to a cult, everybody belongs to a cult, by the way. If you're going to, you might as well belong to the best cult on the planet. And that is the Tony Robbins cult. Enjoy. <laughs>